the amount of belief which we put into the address bar when we see those familiar websites which we visit every day is absolutely incredible today we are going beyond the basics in this video we'll be dissecting how attackers set up phishing websites using a technique known as id and homograph attacks or unicode domain phishing also if you're new to this channel i'm muksit and i make videos about cyber security so before we begin make sure you hit the subscribe button so i came across this blog post the other day the blog post is titled phishing with unicode domains and it was written way back in 2017 by the author zudong zeng and i'm pretty sure i've butchered his name so forgive me for that but i'm going to leave a link to this article in the description below so make sure you go through this blog post and uh, support the author the site above is not the real apple domain but rather a domain i was able to purchase you can see that for yourself by visiting the proof of concept so let's try to visit this so in the url it does look pretty similar to the real apple.com domain and on the page there's simple text written over here if we go ahead and visit the ssl certificate we will see that in the common name it gives us a weird looking value if we go back to the article uh, the author says that the security issue has been fixed as of chrome 59 though it still exists in all versions of firefox so this article was written in 2017 it's 2024 and this issue still exists in firefox unicode makes it possible to register domains with foreign characters it works by converting individual domain label to an alternative format using only ascii characters So ASCII basically is a very limited character set. It includes only letters, numbers and uh, hyphens. Initially domains were only restricted to ASCII characters. This led to a lot of problems because ASCII only accommodates a very small fraction of the world's languages. So this made it very difficult for the people who don't use uh, Latin alphabets to find it impossible to set up domains in their native language. So that's where Unicode came in, which is a much broader character set compared to the ASCII and it includes a plethora of languages and alphabets. Now we saw what ASCII is, we saw what Unicode is. Now Punicode on the other hand is a method for representing unicode characters in domain names which traditionally only supported ascii only characters punicode is only responsible for converting unicode characters into a string of numbers letters and hyphens which can be understood by the dns so punicode makes it possible to register domains with foreign characters it works by converting individual domain label to an alternative format using only ascii characters For example the domain xn-s7y.co is equivalent to this domain over here. So let's visit this link which points us to the Wikipedia article. So Punicode is a representation of Unicode with the limited ASCII character subset used for internet host names. Using Punicode host names containing the Unicode characters are transcoded to a subset of ASCII consisting of letters, digits and hyphens. which is called the LDH subset which we had discussed previously the DNS standards recommends the use of LDH subset of ASCII conventionally used for host names the punicode syntax is a method of encoding strings containing unicode characters such as idna or internationalized domain names into the ldh subset of ascii which is favored by dns so let's actually go down that rabbit hole and read what internationalized domain names are Internationalized domain names is an internet domain name that contains at least one label displayed in software applications. These writing systems are encoded by computers in multi-byte Unicode. Internationalized domain names are stored in DNS as ASCII strings using Punicode transcription. IDNA uses Punicode to map an internationalized domain name which uses Unicode strings to convert it to ASCII character set which is understood by DNS. Going back to the article Uh, from a security perspective unicode domains can be problematic because many unicode characters are difficult to distinguish from common ascii characters it is possible to register domains such as xn-ppl-43d.com which is equivalent to apple.com now it may not be obvious at first glance but apple.com uses the cyrillic a rather than the ascii a and this is known as homograph attack so i'm going to copy the apple.com domain over here which has the cyrillic a included in it and i'm actually going to start python i'll try to encode this apple.com domain into uh, the punicode encoding and show you the result let's paste this apple.com and use the dot encode function and we will be encoding it in punicode we hit enter now you'll notice that the apple.com domain over here which has the cyrillic a actually gives out a different punicode encoding compared to what the author has mentioned over here because uh, the encoding used over here is actually idna and not punicode so we discussed about idna 
and idna actually makes it possible to convert domain names to internationalized domain names that is using unicode so to prove that i will actually try to encode this using idna it gives us the exact result what we saw over here now if we go back modern browsers have mechanisms in place to limit idn homograph attacks the page idn in chrome highlights the conditions under which an idn is displayed in its native unicode form generally speaking the unicode form will be hidden if a domain label contains characters from multiple different languages the apple.com domain as described above will appear in its unicode form which is this to limit confusion with the real apple.com what this means is uh, this apple.com domain over here makes use of the cyrillic a and the rest of the domain is mentioned in the ascii character set so let's try and visit this website from google chrome and see what we get and google chrome actually gives us a warning stating that this website looks fake and it seems to point us to the real apple.com domain so if we try visiting the website again and hit ignore you will see in the address bar that google chrome actually renders the punicode version of the website instead of the ascii version so google chrome has its own idn policy which states all the conditions under which the original punicode version of the website or the url will be rendered or shown in the address bar the homograph protection mechanism in chrome firefox and opera unfortunately fails if every character is replaced with a similar character from a single foreign language the domain apple.com registered as this bypasses the filter on by only using cyrillic characters you can check this out by your, uh, check this out for yourself in the proof of concept let's see if this renders yes of course it does for firefox does this render in chrome nope it does not so looks like chrome has actually gone ahead and updated their policy again initially we had used the cyrillic a and the other characters in the domain were ascii over here the author has actually gone ahead and rendered all the characters in the domain in the cyrillic character set so visually two domains are indistinguishable due to the font used by google chrome and firefox as a result it becomes impossible to identify the site as fraudulent without carefully inspecting the site's url or ssl certificate internet explorer does not display native characters in domains unless it belongs to one of the computer's system languages as a result it suffers from the same vulnerability if the system has russian and other cyrillic languages enabled the bug was reported to chrome and firefox on on jan 20 2017 it was fixed by chrome on march 24 The fix is included in Chrome 58. The problem remains in Firefox as they decided that it is a problem for domain registrars to deal with. If you are buying a domain in a registry which does not have proper anti-spoofing protections like .com, it is sadly the responsibility of domain owners to check for whole script homographs and register them. This was the reply which was given by Mozilla. So I would love to know your take on this in the comments below about the whole uh, Mozilla Firefox thing on homograph attacks. So Firefox by default does not have the show punicode value to true it's actually set to false so if you go to the about config page hit accept and type idn underscore show punicode we see that its value is set to false let's try to change it to true and now if we visit the website we will notice that in the address bar firefox correctly renders the url value in its true uh, punicode form so if you are on firefox this is the setting you need to change and bring it to true to protect your uh, browser from idn homograph attacks this will force firefox to always display idn domains in its punicode form making it possible to identify malicious domains A simple way to limit the damage from bugs such as this is to use a password manager. In general, users must be very careful and pay attention to the URL when entering personal information. Until this is fixed, concerned users should manually type the URL or navigate to sites via a search engine when in doubt. So if you are using Firefox like me over here, you have to be very careful with which links you uh, visit and make sure you enable the setting to true. So Firefox always uh, renders ID and domains in in its true punicode form. If you like the video, make sure you drop a like and hit the subscribe button. If there are any topics you want me to cover in the upcoming videos, make sure to include them in the comments below.